In horse racing, over the years, knowing a horse's weight has become one of the most important indicators of determining well-being, fitness and muscle mass of a horse. And when we look at our horses, we more often than not try to guess their weight to allow us to gauge what needs to be done next. Training programs are affected by the weight of a horse as is its performance in a race and while each horse would have its own ideal weight, there are certain guidelines that are worth following. Nowadays, most racing centers have weighing scales for horses and will publish the racing weight of a horse allowing us to compare this from their previous starts. However, horses weigh about 500 kilos and it isn't practical to get a horse onto a weighing scale every day which is why a standard indicator which helps us to estimate weight is easy enough to use. Horses and ponies come in all sizes, from as low as 9 pounds to the draft animals at 1 ton. Thoroughbreds will weigh somewhere between a very small 350 kilos to a massive 650 kilos. And there are taller, longer, grosser, narrower horses and then there is the gender bias of a filly to a large crested stallion which complicates the estimation principle. There is however a formula for assessing the weight of a horse by simply taking measurements well with a string. It's surprisingly accurate and can even be more accurate than weight tapes. The parameters to be used are just two, girth measurement and length measurement in inches and the formula, which was devised by a vet called Schaeffer, who studied biomechanics in horses, is simple. It allows you to square girth into length and divide it by 330. This gives you the weight in pounds. Since we work in inches, the result will be in pounds. But if we want kilograms, we simply divide the result by 2.2. In order to calculate this, stand your horse on a level surface and snugly measure the girth from the base of the wither behind the elbow. Then take a straight line measurement which is the length from the point of shoulder to the point of buttock in inches. When you multiply the girth measurement by itself and then multiply that by the length measurement and then divide it by 330, you have your horse's weight in pounds. Now this may sound complicated but it isn't. To take an example, if a horse's girth is 72 inches and length is 63, you would get 989 pounds. Once you divide this by 2.2 and you have the weight in kilograms, which in this case is approximately 425 kilograms. While most would still depend on the weighing scale, it's always educational and interesting to see where the horse puts on or loses weight, something a weighing scale can never tell.